Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. Eric's old stapler is finally found on the bold and the beautiful. November 3 recap. For those who've been wondering where Eric's old stapler went on the bold and the beautiful, so they can stop printing it up all the time, let me be the bearer of good news. After she was tasked by Ridge to look for a box of items he put in storage once he took over as co-CEO, Luna found the well-loved office supply bearing the initials EF amongst various accolades that Eric had received over the years. She wanted the box to Ridge in the CEO's office and was delighted to learn she'd found the stapler he thought had been tossed out. Then the designer regaled the young intern with the heartfelt story of the first award event he'd gone to with his father. Rich had been a boy enthralled by all the glitz, glamour, and beautiful women. But most of all, he was enamored with the attention his dad was receiving for his work. To him, Eric was a giant. It was a credit to his talent which was, and still is, world-renowned and beloved. Luna listened to him with a look of indulgent fondness. She's making eye roads quick with this family as she's pulled further into their circle thanks to her connection to RJ and her ability to provide not only a listening ear but also an encouraging one. Lissa Yamada is fitting right in on the soap and has a comfort with all the actors that'll serve her well as she grows on the bold and the beautiful. Elsewhere, within Forrester Creations, Katie learned that RG told Brooke that Eric is dying. While the mother and son found Ridge's lie concerning who actually won the showdown selfless and admirable, Katie didn't look like she agreed. That could change come Monday, November 6th episode, but to my eyes at least, she seemed to bear a look that conveyed her being worried about the lie. It'd be for good reason to, at some point, to get out. Eric isn't likely to react well to being snowed like this. While Ridge, Brooke, and RG would see the decision to hide the truth from him as an act of love, it wouldn't be surprising if he found it to be patronizing, and he held it up as an example of them, considering him to be a doddering old fool who should be put out to pasture. Nothing could be farther from the truth, though Ridge did want his father to stay retired, so he could have his own turn in the CEO chair, but it's not going to feel like that to Eric. He, however, was struggling even in his excitement. In the midst of his celebrating with Donna, he began to cough up blood. How he intends to hide his flagging health and run a fast-paced fashion house is anyone's guess. Meanwhile, unaware of her grandfather's condition, Steffi was at her home, settling back in with a determination that went from being inspiring to doing absolutely too much. If you, like me, were wondering if Steffi got Liam's message, we got our answer in Friday, November 3's episode of The Bold and the Beautiful. She did and conveniently left out the part about Liam telling her to come home to him when she was letting Finn know that she knew. Finn was agitated that Liam took it upon himself to tell her when he and Ridge had already decided to wait, but Steffi effortlessly steered her husband back to the topic at hand. She said she wasn't going to let Sheila keep her from her family ever again and then, making a split-second decision, asserted she was going to tell her that to her face. Hopping to, Finn followed Steffi out of the house and the two went over to Deacon and Sheila's. As everyone seems far too comfortable doing, Steffi banged on their door, demanding to be let in. Deacon checked to see if Sheila was okay with the coming confrontation. They had just been discussing her keeping her promise to him. Sheila intends to it not a soul is going to make it easy on her. Steffi's idea of sticking up for herself and fighting for her family involved showing up at her nemesis place, affirming her position that she wouldn't be run away, and then shoving Sheila. I love Steffi. She's my favorite character on the soap, but she was out of line. Yes, Sheila tried to kill her. That cannot and should not be forgotten, but this woman has not bothered her. Steffi came over to her apartment. They're standing in her living space. She didn't put her on a plane to Rome, and she hasn't meddled in her marriage. Not to mention shoving Sheila, repeatedly getting in her face, and antagonizing her is partly how Steffi got shot in the first place. While I appreciate Steffi being a woman of action, establishing boundaries, and making it clear that they will be enforced, coming in all big and bad, wasn't it? and Finn looked ridiculous standing off to the side like her back up when he did nothing while she was gone and likely won't do anything now when it comes to his birth mother. But at least Deacon defended Sheila when Steffi shoved her unprovoked. Steffi also brought up how Hope couldn't believe this was happening, either which makes me think Hope may turn tail and support Deacon and Sheila at some point. I say this because they have to have someone on their side, and if it's Hope that may have Finn being more honest about his tentative belief that their parents' romance could be a good thing for Sheila which means drama. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.